I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn two techniques to solve a question. We will also learn and understand the term consecutive integers. Question is, find three consecutive integers such that the sum of the smallest and three times the largest is 126. Now when we say consecutive integers, we mean numbers in a sequence, for example, 2, 3, 4. Now, in this case, let us say one of the numbers is x, then the next number should be x plus 1, and next should be x plus 2. So, these three numbers will always be consecutive numbers. If x is an integer, then these three will be integers, correct? So, that is how we can define our consecutive integers. So the let statement, let the integers be x, x plus 1 and x plus 2. I'm really saving on space since I'll show you two different ways of doing the same question. Now the question is, find three consecutive integers such that the sum of the smallest and three times the largest is 126. So x is smallest and largest is x plus 2. So say sum of the smallest, so that means we have to add smallest and 3 times largest plus 3 times largest is x plus 2. That is equals to 126. So from this statement we get the equation. Now this equation is in one variable. We can always solve for x. Let's expand using distributive property. So we get 3x plus 6 equals to 126. We can combine the like terms 4x plus 6 equals to 126. Now we can subtract 6 from both the sides, right? So if we do that, we get 4x. Some students will be writing like this 4x plus 6 minus 6 equals to 126 minus 6. Some students will directly write 4x as, I mean 6 here, right? 4, 126 minus 6 and then solve. Let me do these two steps together. 120. Now we can divide by 4 each side. So we get x here and 120 divided by 4 and that is 4 times 3 is 12 and then 0 is 30. So therefore the three consecutive integers should be x is 30 for us, correct? So the numbers are 30, 31 and 32, correct? So that is how we can solve the question. Now the alternate way is basically redefining your variable. So this time what I will do is I'll define my integers like this. If one integer is x, the other one is one more, and the smallest is one less. Do you see that? So at times, when we're talking about three consecutive integers, you can also define like this, and then you can read the question, right? In this case, it doesn't really simplify your work, but in case, in some cases it does. Well, anyway, let us solve this. So the smallest is x minus 1, plus 3 times the largest, which is x plus 1, is 126. So we have x minus 1, distributive property is 3x plus 3, equals to 126. So 3x plus x is indeed 4x, and 3 minus 1 is 2. So we get 126, and then we can take away 2. So we get 4x equals to 126 minus 2 which is equals to 124, right? So 4x is 124, x is 124 divided by 4, which is 31. So x is 31 this time for us. So that is the center number 31. So our solution is 1 more than 31 and 1 less than 31. Is that okay? So these are the same numbers. So you could also define consecutive integers like this. So either way it works. Sometimes this may be a good method. I hope you appreciate it.
Thank you and all the best.